I've fished these canals for years. I've caught small fish here and big fish here. I've had friends catch small fish and big fish. I've fished it in the depths of winter, in the heights of summer, but I've never seen a tag fish caught here before. Oh, this is the first and only time I've seen this and I'm so excited to share this episode with you today. 0795. Well, welcome back to another episode of the Angler's Logbook. We are back in Twizel. Obviously we've filmed a bunch of videos here over the years. Today we're back here with Lance and Charlie and um, yeah, the plan for today and actually the next couple of days as well is to try and get onto some big fish. We're just heading into winter at the moment and so it is that time of year where the fishery here really heats up and we've already seen that today. We've been mucking around here for a couple of hours now. Uh, we got here about mid to late morning and uh, we've already had one nice fish lost and one other uh, reasonable fish to the bank. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, two more nights here, three full days of fishing, and so we've got plenty of action ahead. It's gonna be a cracking episode for you guys. Okay, that's up, see ya. Off like a rocket. Oh, we're on the board. Give it a look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give it a look at it. Uh, just like that, eh? What was that on a nail? Yeah, pretty lively. Oh yeah, it's nice. And she's away. Nice fish. Just like that. Too good. We salmon is it? Man, this is the perfect condition, mate. Super lightweight zig head. And then just really. Oh, there's two more chases. <laughs> That's actually not a bad. It's pretty reasonable. It's bad either, that. No. Back to the house. You could feed out of that. Chunky. Yeah. Just again, set. Back and go grub. Best action for seven. Is there some place for seven? Oh, it's pretty fat. Yeah. Good fish for the table. And just super slightly edit Give it a few twitches, let it fluff it down. And that tail on there.
Oh yeah. It's a wee pup. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get in here, Eel. Looks similar size to that one you just had on. Oh, first fish of the trip. Can't complain. Oh, on the board. So at the moment I'm just fishing with this Savage Gear program. There's um, the motor oil colour. So these darker ones at the moment, while the canal's a bit dirty, are just working awesome for these little salmon. Hoping to get one a bit larger shortly. And then we're just using real light jig heads because the flow is so light. There's actually one sixteenth of an ounce, so the one twelfth or one sixteenth is what we want to use when it flows like this. It's doing the damage so far. Using the Inspira and Nanomatrix combo by Akuma. I've only had this rod for a few months and um, yeah, just been catching heaps of salmon on it lately. I'm hoping to get onto a big trout with it this trip, but it's been just a whole lot of salmon at the canals for us recently. But awesome wee combo, definitely packs a punch. Just changed over now to another Savage Gear Pro Grub. This one is, I think, called the Glow. So just trying something different, it's just gone a bit quiet. Still a couple of little ones floating around, but hoping with that change of light, it's going to bring on some of the bigger salmon in here. Really like to take a few home. We've got our um, other page on Instagram you might have seen called Angler's Kitchen and we're cooking up a storm at the moment, so be real keen to take some uh, salmon home and our uh, plan is for our next recipe to do some gin cured salmon, make a bit of salmon carpaccio, should be beautiful eating, so hopefully we can get onto something a decent size shortly. Oh, we're hooked up. This one feels a bit better as well, a bit more weight to it. Might be a salmon or something. Should get a look at it here in a second. Definitely a bit bigger than that last like one or two pound one we had on. Just on that change of light. Sun's up behind the mountain and it's all go. That feels better. Oh, there it goes. Going for a good one. Oh, <laughs> smoking. Doesn't want to come in. It was just about there. <laughs> Still got a bit of life in it. There it is. It's <laughs> one we came for. <laughs> The reel's still singing. Bring that in now. <laughs> awesome. Oh man, look at it. It's solid. It's 10 pound easy. Well, the evening just got even better after battling away with these uh, smaller salmon. Just pulled in this absolute horse. That is the fish we came for, and obviously, there's a few salmon around, but to get one of this caliber, it's so fat. We just weighed it uh, in the net and it's uh, right on 10 pounds, so absolutely stoked with that. Great way to finish the day and uh, got a big couple of days ahead of us. Hoping to get onto a few trout in the morning, so we'll uh, get this one home, get it uh, all prepared to take home to the dinner table and I'm sure we'll enjoy eating this one. But man, magic evening out here. Alright, well we're here on day two of our trip and we have got this place to ourselves. There's actually only one other person here which is awesome and uh, we're going to be getting into a bit of egg drifting this morning. Yesterday we were obviously soft baiting all day, um, but this morning the plan is to make the most of uh, the flow. It's flown really nicely and uh, we're hoping to get onto some real big trout here. 
it's obviously one of those spots where you can get uh, anything from a sort of one or two pound trout right up to your 40, 50 pound plus. So pretty incredible place to be fishing. I love it here and um, it's even better when you've got it uh, all to yourselves. It's a beautiful morning, there's no wind, it's not even too cold and uh, fingers crossed there's some big fish on the cards. So this morning we're running the same setup that we normally do here. Uh, this is the Akuma tournament concept with the Kmart reel. Uh, it's an awesome combo with uh, great value for money. Super affordable to pick up but it uh, is really good here. And uh, we're just running our standard setup. We made a video on how we rigged this up uh, previously so we'll stick a card up in the corner so you can check that out. But um, this morning we're going for a two egg setup. Uh, one is um, a dead egg with a chartreuse dot and then the other one is a dead egg with the orange dot uh, running seven gram of weight and um, I think that should be about right for the flow but that's enough talking, time to get out there and catch some fish. That's a nice fish. Look at the colours. It's like golden. Oh, they're just behind them. They're just following them. Is he ready to come in, you reckon? Yeah, I think he's. <laughs> <laughs> Best fish of the trip so far. Oh, he's tagged. No, that's a tag. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Just behind the fin there. Yeah. Looks bigger than that, eh? It does yeah. look bigger, but he's in spawn mode, so... Oh yeah. Lost a bit of condition, maybe. It's just a cool looking one, though, eh? Yeah, it's like a beautiful looking fish. Fish, eh? Beautiful colours on that thing. Happy with that. Definitely the fish of the trip so far. Yeah. It's awesome. And with the tag as well. And the tag, 0795. Be interesting to see how big he's grown, eh? So it is the following weekend after we were fishing at the canals last weekend. Lance is here and um, we're just about to ring fishing game to find out the results of that tag fish. Um, it's pretty cool to see that big It's the first one I've seen uh, with a tag in it there. So we're going to give Fishing Game a call and uh, find out a bit about uh, what the fish is, um, how big it was, and uh, yeah, hopefully a little bit more about the project. So we'll give them a call now and uh, see what the results were. G'day, mate. We're just recording this for um, a bit of a video there. So yep. um, basically, I don't know if you want to give us a bit of a background behind the, the tagging project or not, but um, yep, can do. Yep. Yep. Go for it. Let us know what's uh, what what it's all about. Cool. So it's a it's an add-on to a, a task we were doing anyway. So um, when Genesis operates the um, the spillway, so I guess we go right back to um, the fact that Lake Tekapo has got a control gate, and that stops the old river from flowing down. Tekapo River bed um, for a short distance um, and all that water that used to flow down the Tekapo River that goes down the Tekapo Canal now through a tunnel under the um, ground and, and into the Tekapo Canal so basically the old Tekapo River is now the Tekapo Canal yep. um, but the spillway is still in place and when, when there's massive rain in the headwaters at Lake Tekapo the lake fills up and then they have to spill um, so all the excess water that they can't manage through the canal um, then goes down the dry riverbed um, through the control gate 
down to the where the Tikapo River is today. Um, when they've got black levels under control, they turn it off again. And then when they turn it off, the short section of riverbed that's normally dewatered is um, it's got a whole bunch of puddles in it and pools. And in those, uh, generally, like if it's been a long spill, um, quite a few fish. Um, so the tagging program is based on um, tagging those fish that we get out of the riverbed, we salvage them from the puddles and put them into the canal. So um, the tagging's given us the great opportunity to research um, the growth rate of Lake Tekapo fish that make their way into the canal. Now, they do that without um, salvage as well, so sometimes the, the um, spillway will flow and then divert back into the um, canal, so that's the likes when, let's imagine, the Tekapo power station's got some maintenance on, so yep. fish will barely come through and into the canal. Plus also, fish can survive the turbines of the power station, so they can make it through um, the power station itself. The smaller, smaller the fish, the better. Um, yeah, right. The higher the level. But so basically, it's a natural phenomenon where the Tekapo Canal recruits its trout by way of Lake Tekapo. So what we're doing is we're basically speeding that process because we're getting a whole, you know, could be a couple hundred um, on one day uh, or more and, and put them into the canal. So we can, uh, we can tag those fish and see how they grow in, in the canal and to a limited extent see how they move around. But yeah, it's a pretty small, small section, so... You, um, I think I've caught a couple of them um, over the last two years now, probably. Hey, I've caught a yeah. few of them. Um, how many do you reckon have been reported as being caught since you've started the tagging program in there, roughly? Uh, roughly probably roughly about 200. 200. Um, and about, maybe about 100 of those have given us all the data we need. Yep. So, so sometimes someone will say, oh, I caught at least three or four. So, um, we don't get the tag number from that information. It's, it's good to know that people are catching them and where they catch them, but the critical piece of information we need is the tag number, because then we can associate uh, that information to the exact fish, where we we always measure the fish that we tag. Sometimes we weigh them, yeah. and we know where we release them, so we can see what they've been up to in the canal during that time. Um, so yeah, we've got some great data um, so far. Um, we've, we started this back in March 2020. Um, so we're a bit over three years in now, and um, we'll just continue this project. So the idea is to build up a massive data set and from that um, gain an insight into the sort of the, the natural range of, of growth rates that we can expect to see from like Tikapo fish that make their way into the Tikapo Canal. Yes, yeah, sweet. Oh, well, um, I'd love to hear the results of uh, that brown that I got. Um, as I mentioned, it was it was 12 pound and about 71 centimeters. So that's what it was weighing in the weekend. Yeah, um, it was a yeah, bloody nice fish. You call it um, amazing colours on it. Yeah, oh, incredible colour. Who says the canal fish are ugly? Eh? I don't actually think that fish has reached any of the cages. I think that has been a resident up that, that top end of the canal. Um, just from the length and the way it looks, instead of it being fat like like you'd see with the ones down at the cages. It was pretty well proportioned, it was in beautiful condition. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's possible. Um, have you? I, I, I would think to get to that size that quick, um, when, you, when you think about a natural fishery, um, an example that would compare to it, you know, it's probably like a uh, like a big, maybe a mouse eating fish that's yep. a little a little bit backed off from the peak of mouse eating. Um, you know, you get to 12 pounds. Um, some of those, you know, a handful of iconic other fish trees that can get fish that big um, on on you know just a range of different foods like small fish, um, terrestrials, and invertebrates from the river, um, yep. aquatic stuff. So. Um, yeah, I would, I would think that it's probably gone down to the cages for a bit. Um, but this is this is one of the mysteries we're trying to figure out. Um, to take a break, we can figure that out, but it helps us build our understanding of, of what, what questions to ask and, and what research to look into. Yeah. Um,
Yeah, the diet, the diet study is one we haven't specifically done at the canals, but it's certainly on the to-do list. Um, we've got a, a um, something we call our scoping document. It's got a whole bunch of projects in it for the canals, and that's on there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just whether it makes the priorities. Um, yeah, right now we're looking into trying to figure out if we can count the fish using sonar, so that's a, a work in progress. So. Um, been doing some other work around just figuring out people's activities and, and what they value up there. Um, certainly, um, trophy size fish like this 12 pounder is, is one of those things they value. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, certainly interested. So, your fish, uh, we tagged that, well, in a decimal sense, 2.8 years ago. So, 2.8 so years ago. 1,026 days before you caught it. Yeah. Um, we, we, um, got it out of the spillway and tagged it and released it at that top bridge. So it was, yep. it was um, pretty much where, where I caught it. Yeah. <laughs> so may, may not have gone far. Um, and what was his length? So 2.8 years ago, his yeah, length we, was. We tagged it at 392 millimetres, so it's probably a three year old. 392 and, millimetres. Um, based, we didn't weigh that fish, but based on some of the fish we've weighed since. Made it to be probably about 1.4 pounds. 1.4 pounds. Pound. So, so it's almost doubled in length and gained pretty much 10 pounds. Yeah, so it's put on 10.6 pounds uh, in 2.8 years, which is a growth rate of about 10 Definitely some big rats there. Definitely yeah, um, rats. So, so I'll, I'll put it down to either two things. It's, it's predominantly on a fish type or, or something that's benefiting from the, the sand farms maybe getting a pellet or um, the stuff associated down there which could be benefiting from the, from the farms like the snails are all flipping yep. down there. Yep. Um, so yeah, something, something we're keen to look into in the future is the diet stuff. Um, it's certainly a, a really good growth rate um, and, and a bloody nice fish and, and good condition seems to be maintaining its condition but um, when, when you compare it to some of the other results we've had it's, um, it's kind of stock standard growth rate for the canal yeah. um, you know, stock standard for the canal but you know we're trying to compare it to say something that goes sea run and the ocean's food to eat or, um, or eating moist um, but when you look at the potential that this tagging study has shown us is that some of these fish are growing um, up to 14 pounds per year. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's right? ridiculous. So um, we don't know if they can maintain that, that growth rate, but that's certainly the growth rate measured for this, this one fish um, that was caught a few years back as an 18 pound brown that was no bigger than about three pounds and it was put in just, just over a year prior so it really just rocketed up to 80 pounds. Um, yeah, that's crazy. We don't know if it was going to maintain that or what, whether it plateaus once they reach a certain size then it slows down or not, but, um, but let's, uh, let's agree that 18 pounds is a, is a bloody good fish for anybody. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so what that says for us in terms of our management sense is um, we don't really need to look at specific trophy um, management uh, regulations because the fish can just get there themselves. There's just too much food on offer. Yeah. Um, they, they, we can just keep, keep the regulations pretty similar to the um, size limits. Um, they, they don't take long to get to 10 pounds plus. No. No, that's pretty good. Oh, that's. Um that's bloody awesome information there. I hopefully we get to manage to catch a few more tagged ones because um, it's really interesting sort of learning that sort of stuff. Um, so hopefully more people that catch the tagged fish will contact you and get a bit some results like us as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. And it made it, you know, if, if you got one six months ago and it's just, you got a photo of it on your phone or whatever like that, we're still keen to hear. It doesn't have to be 
like you called it yesterday. Yep. Um, yep. The data, the data will last forever. So, um, as, as long, long as you've got the tag the number tag there. Number, yeah. And the date, the date you called it. Um, then, if, you know, it's really helpful to have the length and weight measured. Uh, estimated is good too. Um, and, and a photo is the oxygen on the cake, which, which you've supplied to us, which is fantastic. We're a pack of fish. Perfect. All right, thank you very much for all the info, mate. And um, we'll catch up in, in, in the next few months around the canal. Yep, yeah, we'll see you up there soon. Sweet as, mate. Cheers for that. Alright, bye. That's interesting. So, 10 pounds in two and a bit years, and pretty much doubled in length. That's crazy. And it hasn't left the spot it was yeah. released into. So. Yeah, four pounds a year. Pretty cool to see. Big fish. Yeah. yeah. I'll be interested to see uh, over the next few months if we catch any more through that area once yeah. the um, trout start running. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool result. Yeah. That's awesome. Could be a unique fish, you know?